Hey ladies, I'm going to walk you all through some tips and tricks and some of the few latest trends that we have going on with our jewelry this season. Excuse the lack of makeup and crazy hair. It is a snow day and I'm taking full advantage. So I'm going to turn you all this way. Bear with me. I'm going to walk through it. You all are going to notice a lot of our pieces are made to layer very well. Okay, so as you all can see, we're gonna have a lot of pieces that are gonna be layered this time, okay? It's gonna be a huge trend. The good thing with that is it's gonna work out really well with a lot of the timeless pieces. So you're gonna wanna layer those up in long, delicate layers, okay? So some of the other things you can do with a lot of our necklaces, I'm gonna walk you through some of that. This one's one of my favorites. Of course, you can wear it on the blingy side or the solid black side. But a good feature that we have with a lot of our pendants is this hole is really big. So you can either take this off and put it on another chain or vice versa or put something else on here. Or you can just double it up and wear it shorter. So that's right. You get four different looks and one necklace. Pretty good selling point. You're also going to notice with both this sway necklace and the coral option with this one. It's beautiful on this side, yes, and it does have the matching earrings, but we know that the matchy-matchy trend is not going to be very popular, okay? So we wanna find a way that we can utilize both pieces at the same time. So you can flip it over, wear that on the brushed silver side. So on the coral one, it's gonna be the coral um, on one side and the brushed gold on the other. Now, if you have the earrings, you could pair the earrings with it as well, okay? So, let me show you all what I'm talking about. So, again, not too matchy-matchy. If you flip this over on the solid side and put the earrings with it, because it's going to mimic the same design style, but it's not going to be exactly the same as if you had it this way, okay? All right, again, with this one, you're gonna have the very large pendant to where you can take that off and put it on other things. It looks really good doubled up on the Timeless Treasure, okay? Which I'm gonna show you all in a minute. I'm gonna take you all with me, all right? Bear with me, I'm going around my dining room table. Okay, so the cover piece. How many of y'all love this piece? It's absolutely awesome. It's so sparkly in person. You need to get it so your clients can see that, okay? Now, when you look at this piece, you assume I can only wear this one way. Not so much. You can actually flip this around to the solid silver side and it lays beautifully. So if you've got a necklace or a um, neckline that works really good with that necklace, then you can definitely flip that over if you don't need all of that color with it or all of that bling, which I know it's hard to understand not needing bling, but sometimes you might not need it if you've got a busier pattern on your shirt. So you can have that option too. It's a good selling feature. The Kaleidoscope Necklace. Absolutely adore this one. You get three different looks out of this. Now, as we know, if you have this, you want to announce at your party that this does open and those crystals fall out. Okay, that way nobody accidentally opens it thinking, oh, I bet it doesn't open. Go ahead and let them know it does, okay? Or when you're talking about this piece at your parties, let them know those crystals can come out. So a cool thing is you can wear it on this side. You can take the crystals out and put a picture in there. And since it's clear on this side, then you can see the picture all the time like a locket, okay? Or you can flip it over on the edge side and wear it that way, which I really like the edge side. Okay, I'm going to sit you all up over here. The looking glass pendant, sorry, I'm trying to find a place to sit you all. The looking glass pendant is very, very pretty. Another one of my favorites because it's got some nice intricate details on this side. But again, the hole's big enough to where you can double it up. So you can wear it long as it's intended or you can double it up and wear it shorter. And it's not too chunky, so it does work. Oh, I love this one. Okay, so when you look at this one in the book, you think, oh, that's really pretty, I really like that. But if you don't pay attention and read, this has actually got a magnetic like clasp right there that pulls it together. So you can wear it together or apart like this. So again, goes with our layering concept really well because you could take, sorry, I'm leaning. You could take say maybe the cross necklace and I'm trying to make it lay right as I'm holding it and kind of double it up with it, okay? So you could kind of frame that out because remember we've got all this space here we want to fill it in, okay? Um, let's see. Ah, these stud earrings and I'm completely, I think they're called switch it up. 
um, or change it up. I can't remember the name of them offhand, but it also has a pendant necklace that goes with it. I don't have the necklace, but I love these earrings and they're a pretty good size. You all can tell with holding up to me or they're pretty good size. Now the cool thing with these is obviously they're much prettier in person. I didn't know if I was gonna like them or not, but I wanted to get them for the versatility. Because you can wear them this way or you can just take the back off and take the jacket off and wear them on the blue and navy part. Pretty awesome. Okay, I'm gonna move y'all over this way. Hope y'all are having fun and learning some stuff. Okay, so cool thing, the pearl strands that we have, of course, all these enhancers, all those pendants that I was talking to you about, about being able to come off the necklaces, you can put them on here, or you can even take that enhancer and put it on the other ones, okay? Let's see, I'm looking for one particular one. All right, so let me show you all the Timeless Treasure Necklace. Now, for those of you all that have seen me do this, Bear with me, it wouldn't hurt to watch it again, okay? Of course, the Timeless Treasure Necklace is super duper long. Love this necklace because it is so long. You could wear it as a belt if you wanted to, or if you've had babies like I have, you might need to cheat and put it through your belt loops. Um, cool thing with this one is you can wear it long. Now, if you're five feet like me, it's not gonna work out because you're gonna have a tail when you're walking and that's not gonna be attractive. You can double this up, okay? And just kind of wear it all together like that. You can graduate it like this, okay? Or since it's long enough, you can actually triple it, okay? So that is a pretty good look too. Or you can even wear it all together. So say you were at work and you don't need it to be too fancy, you want it all together, but then you're going out after work, guess what? Instantly fancier, okay? Now you can also kind of go with the uh, multiple bracelet look and wear that as many times as you can on your wrist and you would just take it apart and wrap it around. You could do that on your ankle as well because we always wanna draw people to our smallest parts of our bodies, which is usually not here and our ankle's pretty small and so is our wrist, okay? Now, next way, you wanna leave this hook together and put the clasp right in the middle, okay? You're gonna pull it apart. You're gonna put this around your neck, open it up just like a scarf and pull it through. So you can either have it to where it's shorter and way longer this way or I actually like to move it down a little bit. And I'm trying to do this as I'm watching myself. So I get the elongated look. See how much nicer that looks when you frame out everything? Of course, if I didn't have a hoodie on, it would look even better. Um, but when you do that, it elongates the body. It makes you look thinner. And another thing that it does for you is it allows your necklace to stay in place where it's supposed to. Because we all know when we're walking along, we've got this beautiful long necklace on, and we start moving, and then it jumps over here. We put it back, we start moving again, it jumps over here. Then it gets upset, and both are involved, and then it's a family affair. So... When you do the long lariat look like that, it actually keeps everything in place. So that way you're not having that problem. Okay, I'm gonna show you all one more. And these are a couple of my favorites. The gold pieces that we have with the um, champagne bib necklace page and the page right after that. So this is on the page with the champagne bib. Now, looking at this, it's beautiful on this side, but we don't always need all of that bling. You can flip it over and wear it on the kind of um, hammered looked side. And then it also has a longer necklace that has some of those same features, okay? So again, you can do that. Now, what's really pretty is you can go with the long layering trend with this one and wear these together or since this longer necklace is a little bit longer again you could double and wear it that way okay so i hope that this video has helped you all learn some things about all of our jewelry if you have any questions please feel free to ask me i'm sure we'll be adding to it at our next meeting so make sure to be there